lot, folks. This is John back from Pottery Works. Uh, it's just about four hours. We're at 22, 2236. Um, this has been a great fire. It's been a nice, steady pond. If I get a picture from the side or out, I'm the camera up. Uh, nice steady climb. It's only been not even a half a pound of gas. Um, but, now what I'm going to do, it hasn't even went into reduction at all by itself, which is perfect. What I'm going to do is wait for it to get to the 20... 300 degrees, and I'm going to force it into reduction. I have a little, just a little kiln shelf here, I'm going to stick on top of the chimney, and then I'm going to up the pressure probably to two until I get to one or two to see how the reduction will start. I have a nice long reduction. Um, she said, uh, my point is to get to 23, 2380. Um, and I think it's going to have no problem. I've been climbing steadily. I haven't had any stalls, any stops at all. Pardon for the wind. Uh, there's so much wind here right now. You can see the trees growing, but it's, uh, it's probably growing. 25 to 30 mile an hour gust, which wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> um, like I said, we're shooting for 23.80. Right now we're at uh, 22.41. If I can see it from here, I can see it or not. So it's got a nice steady climb. We've gone from uh, 10 seconds to 20 seconds range. Like I said, right now it's probably been exactly four hours. So I would say within the next hour we'll be done. Uh, like I said, when we hit that degree, I'm going to send it into reduction. And uh, get a nice better look down the chimney here. That frost in it. You can see the ice glow down there. Uh, that's, uh, I'm really happy with what we got. This time it worked, a lot less fuel, and the fire is perfect. Alright, this is John, we'll be back after the fire is done. Hi folks, this is John back from Pottery Works. Uh, I'm here the next morning, and the firing is done, the stove's cooled down, or kiln. see what we ended up with. Uh, I've got uh, mostly everything in here has got the same glaze. I was just try trying some different slips. Uh, nice days for the slip. All these have the same uh, Simon Leach's white glaze over top of uh, summer porcelain, some of my white clay uh, with a little bit of slip. This yellow I've been trying to get to come through just didn't work. I used a uh, red iron o or a yellow iron oxide. This one's nice. Again, I tried another slip around the edge of the blue. You can just barely make it out. So I have to darken that up. This little vase with a couple of it's brown. I have a dark chocolate clay that I made this out of. And before it gets cooked, it looks great, but it kind of loses all its color. I said most of these are all the same. That's nice, that turned out nice. Just trying a couple of different techniques with the slip. Now this is the only one that's different. This is actually an orange shano, but that didn't work at all. The first firing I did, it actually worked out great, 
quite good. This one, for some reason, just didn't work. It's really rough. It's a nice little glaze. Now, unfortunately, I chipped this when I was doing it. You can see the top, but I still fired. It's a shame, but it's a nice looking, nice shape. This is another test on the white glaze. This is over a uh, black iron oxide slip. Um, it's got a nice pale green, but it's not going to be enough to show. Another vase. I said this is a small kiln, so I'm virtually just doing my test stuff. It's actually not too bad. I'm not going to attempt to do that without my little hammer. These are my nice shiny new advancers which worked great where they're still nice and straight you can see how thin they are nothing to them okay this is the second shelf that's all that's in here this is uh, this is one of Simon Leach's combination of uh, his red iron oxide with his white over top what actually looks pretty nice turns the, the iron oxide of course turns black and then I carved it off and then dip the whole thing in his white glaze. That actually worked quite well. I've got a lot more in there doing that. Ready to go in the next firing. Nice little one. That one turned out really well. That one there was porcelain. This is my white clay. This is a standard clay. I believe it's uh, 182 standard clay. This is uh, a black that I made out of, uh, oh, you know, that's the uh, red iron oxide slip. That's what that is. And this was a, uh, I don't know, what's that? Must have been just a white slip over top. Not much color difference in that one. There's another nice one. I like that one. That's another porcelain. You know what, this might be my red clay. That's why that white slip didn't work. Over top, the black lines came out. Another nice little phase. I like the porcelain. I'm using a uh, Laguna B-Mix porcelain here. That one didn't work at all. Unfortunately, that brown is not going to work in a high temperature. I have another opening I'm going to do later today. As soon as the kiln goes down of electric firing to cone 6, which hopefully they all worked in that. That was a little better. Another small little base. Oh, that's nice. That one turned out really nice. The blue seems to work great. There's an underslip. I just got to work on some of my other oxides. That one there, all the color is gone. This was a yellow. I thought that yellow, I darkened it up with the yellow iron oxide, but it's just not dark enough. Again, this is the brown, chocolate brown slip. I'm going to have to try to add some. Maybe some magnesium oxide or something. Try to get a little more darker. Although the red iron oxide just nice and dark. There's another nice one. This one here I actually put a little bit around the rim, which actually didn't work, but the rest of it looks pretty good. This was another, this was a double dip of uh, the slip with just the white clay over it. Again, it has a lot of uh, does that black copper oxide, so there's a lot of uh, come out green. <clears throat> I was hoping maybe it would do red on the reduction, but and uh, that's it. Let me show you underneath here what I got. The uh, show you how it works. You see the first firing that I did when the shelf melted. It kind of uh, everything kind of stuck in here so I gotta fill this in with something 
just took a brick. This is my block. The flame comes in here, batters against this and spreads out. You can see on the side how the flame hits. This is where my uh, uh, parameter came through. But that was a good successful couple of disappointments. Unfortunately, like I said, my Shano came out so well in my first firing. But uh, this one, it just didn't work at all. Alright, this is John from Pottery Works. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.